friends, it's Erin or Everyday Erin and I am back with another video. Don't mind the mess behind me, we're still continuing to recover from the holidays and from me being sick, which means I'm not doing much of anything. I still am ever so slightly under the weather as you can probably hear in my voice, but <clears throat> it is what it is. It's better than it was, but it is what it is. Sorry, I just noticed something sticking out of the drawer. Anyway, I am here to show you um, finished object Friday and I only have one thing but I'm gonna show it to you my neighbor you may remember a couple months ago asked if I could recreate a sweater that he had actually he asked if I could fix his sweater and there was no fixing the sweater so I recreated it kind of sort of my own way and he loved it but before I did that he said oh can you not do that anymore can you make my wife a sweater instead so I said I will make your wife a sweater that's fine so her birthday is this week and I just finished the sweater so let me tell you a little bit about this sweater last Friday I was I had separated for the sleeves and I was almost done with the body and I tried it on because I know what her measurements were supposed to be I know what my measurements are they're not the same but I there was like 16 extra inches. <laughs> it was ridiculous. So I unknit the entire, I, I tanked the entire sweater and I started over last Friday. Um, and today I finished it. Today is, you're not seeing this the same day, but. So for me, it is Wednesday the 28th. And I think you are going to be seeing this on Friday the 30th. So Friday I knit, Saturday I didn't knit much because we celebrated Christmas on Saturday. Sunday I didn't knit much because I was playing video games. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday I knit a lot. So for about four days to knit a sweater. Um, not too bad. This is a completely different pattern than what I made the first time. I changed a whole bunch of stuff. Again, there is no pattern for the sweater. I just kind of made it up as I went along and the measurements are much better this time. So without further ado, oh, one more thing. This is knit out of Yates Wool. Yates is a local, well, Yates used to be a local sheep farm. Um, they no longer mill their yarn, but their daughter sells the yarn, so she mills the yarn, but we still call it Yates yarn. I don't know if they still call it Yates yarn, but we call it Yates yarn. The daughter's not a Yates anymore, I don't think. That doesn't matter to the story. Local yarn. <laughs> anyway, here we go. Here is the sweater. Um, the contrast colors I used were blue. The yellow I wasn't initially going to use, but it's left over from the first sweater I knit for the neighbors. And then a green and this gray they called Oxford gray. And it was requested that the sweater be longer. Um, this is very long on me. I don't know how long it will be on her. Uh, but I went based off of a sweater that I had her husband sneak out of the house for me to take measurements on and then he had some notes about what he wanted a little different so I did that. So this sweater is a good three inches longer than the original sweater and there is more um, he asked for more room in the bust and the sleeves to be the same so that's what I did. Here it is. And I'm very happy with it. I hope she likes it. He liked his so I hope she likes ours and there is the tag that we still won't talk about because it was not a good experience but I, I, I like that I like that I like having the tag so people know what is the back and what is the front um, so I wouldn't be opposed to trying to order tags again I just wouldn't go with the same shop oh my gosh Whew. I don't realize how under the weather I still am until I have to talk for a while because now all I want to do is cough. Anyway, that is all I have for today. I do have some new stuff to show you, which I think I'll show you on Monday. Um, so stay tuned for that. And I'm trying to decide if I want to do a recap of the goals I set for myself in 2022. Set for myself. I, I'm not quite sure I achieved many of them, but set for myself. And I'm contemplating if I want to set goals for 2023. 
Um, we'll see. I have some things I want to make, so it doesn't bother me if I don't achieve all my goals. All right. Anyway, let me know down below if you would like to hear a recap of my goals and if you would like to see me set new goals. It doesn't stress me out one way or another, so if you want to see them, I will come up with a list. Um, and if you want to see what I did or didn't accomplish in 2022, tell me down below and I will make a video about it. All right. That's all I have for today. I hope you all are doing really well. Hope you had a great holiday and next is New Year's. All right. Bye guys.